Hey guys, how's it going? This is Eric with Graphic T Coach. So I wanted to make a quick uh, tutorial on how to give something a wood texture. So I've just grabbed a Batman logo here. Uh, just as an example, it's got high contrast with the yellow and the black. And so I'm going to walk you through how to do that specifically in GIMP. Now I use GIMP because I'm right now I'm on a Mac and I like something that I need something that works on a Mac and I don't have Photoshop. And GIMP works on both Mac and on PC, so I like it because anybody can use it. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the scaling tool and we're going to make this picture a little, this image a little bigger. Just so it'll be a little bit easier to see. All right, scale that. And we're also going to remove the background. So to do that, we're going to grab the wand here, fuzzy select tool, and click in the white and then delete it. So that's going to clear all of that out for us. Okay, so now we're just left with the Batman tool. Select none, uh, or the Batman logo, I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we need a picture of wood in order to get a wooden texture. So to do that, we're going to go to my favorite photo site, Pixabay. So you can see that here, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y, pixabay.com, and I just searched wood texture. You can also search wood background, whatever. Anyway, it brings up all of this different wood stuff, right? We're just going to grab this one here, and we can download it for free. Oh, and really importantly, free for commercial use, no attribution required. So you don't have to worry about the copyright of things on Pixabay. They are free stock photos, okay? That's really helpful for things like textures and stuff like that. Uh, we'll just download this one. Show them I'm not a robot. Come on. Really, I'm not. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And just like that, it downloads. Fantastic. So we're going to grab that, drag it over here into GIMP. Okay. So we are going to scale this photo up as well. <clears throat> so the first thing that we're going to do is we need to separate out the dark texture from the light texture and then we will remove the light texture and add the dark texture to the image and i'll show you how to do all that right now so we have the uh, image you can see over here we, we've selected the wood layer right so come up here to colors then threshold and we're gonna now you can see automatically it's now black and white but if if what we're going to do is we're going to keep the black so we need to have a lot of white and just a little bit of black to kind of give it some grain, right? So maybe maybe that's maybe that's a good amount. I don't I don't know exactly. I'm we're just gonna we're just gonna test this, and you can like obviously mess around with this as much as you want to get it to be just the right texture. But for for the sake of showing this off, we're just gonna go with that much. We're gonna hit OK. Great. And now again, we're gonna come back here and click the wand tool, the fuzzy select, and we're gonna click the white. When you click the white, you're going to see it, like it selects pretty much everything. That's good. You're going to delete that. So now all that's left is wood grain. Oops, there's a little bit left down here too. Delete that as well. <clears throat> okay, so now all that's left is the wood grain. Now the wood grain is what we are going to uh, use to put the grain into this Batman logo. So now we are going to select the black... And since it didn't grab this stuff down here, you're going to hold shift, which allows you to select more. Now you can see we've selected all of that. Now we've pretty much selected, we selected all of the black, but we don't want to select the black. We want to select the area around the black. So go to select and invert. Doesn't look any different, but it is. Now come over here and select the Batman logo and delete. So now it doesn't look like anything changed, but what happened was we're going to hit select none. And we're going to turn off this wood layer. And now you can see transparency through the Batman logo in the wood grain. And that is exactly how you do it. In fact, I'll zoom in just a little bit. So now you can see that the Batman logo has a wooden grain to it. So when you put that onto um, a design and then put it onto a t-shirt. If that's on a white t-shirt, you're going to see white peeking through or black peeking through or whatever color um, of t-shirt that you're putting it on. 
Now it's helpful because here you can see, uh, because it's a high contrast image, you can see some of the grain in the yellow, but you can also really clearly see how nicely it's going to show up in the black. Experiment with this. Try different, um, different wood grains, different degrees of um, the threshold modification. Now, I'm sure there are many different ways to do this, but this is the easiest way that I know of to add a quick grain. You can do it with wood. You can do it with other textures as well. Experiment with it. Comment down below. I'd love to hear how it goes for you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.